Hello everyone, I wanted to take a moment to show you how to access schoolwork like a PDF file from my big campus and then edit it using our Note Lite app on our iPads from Metamoji and then send it back to my big campus to submit to your teacher. So first uh, we're going to use my big campus in the browser because the app is pretty much useless unless we're using it to transfer files like we are in this example. Uh, but to access your schoolwork and to resubmit it and pretty much anything else other than uh, transferring files, you definitely want to use the website version right in your browser. Here we're using Safari, but if you want to use Chrome instead, that would be fine as well. Um, go ahead and click on schoolwork, <clears throat> and then we'll see any schoolwork here. And for this video, I just created a sample quiz. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Start Assignment, just like we usually do. Now here I have a PDF file. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. This might be the test or assignment that my teacher is giving me. And here's my basic quiz. I'm going to go ahead and single tap on it. And that brings up in the top right, Open in iBooks and Open in. Now if you're using Chrome, you'll see it down in the bottom right or left, depending on the version of Chrome you're using. But it is essentially the same thing. So tap again, click Open In, and then it'll list any app that could receive this PDF file to use. And in our example, we're going to use Note. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up in Note, make sure I'm, I have a couple versions of Note. I want to make sure I'm using the right one. And now what Note's going to do is it's going to take all the data from that PDF file and import it. It'll ask you a couple very simple questions, and then we can get started with our answering. So let's go ahead and say, as a new note, and click Done. All right, now take a look at the tools up at the top. If I click on the eye, that allows me to select and zoom in on my uh, worksheet, test, whatever you might be doing. I can then click on the little pen if I want to try to use my finger to write my name. However, unless you're using a stylus on the iPad, it might be difficult to make it legible just using your finger. So I suggest the text tool. And when I tap on, you know, a, a location to type like I just did there, on the, um, right above the keyboard, you can see you can change your font, your font size, the style alignment, etc. for that text box. So go ahead and play around with that, or if your teacher has a preference, many teachers might just want it to be standard Times New Roman 12. Ask if they haven't told you already to find out a, an exact answer. So I'm going to get go ahead and put my name there, Mr. Messerol. When you click off, um, it goes ahead and just leaves that name. You can always click back on it, uh, that text box, to re-edit or change anything about it. I'm going to go ahead and click on the date area over here so I can add today's date. Uh, let's just go ahead. You can actually put today's date. I'll just put a placeholder for the dates there. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and click down here by period and course. Click my text box option again there. Uh, let's just say it's for computer class. Click over by teacher. And let's just say it's for Mr. Messerol again. And in the quiz here, let me click on my text box tool again. You can go ahead and put your answer. Um, now, if your text box ever kind of gets off, you can always just click off it and try again like I did there if it's not lined up with the line at all. What city or town are you currently in? I'm going to type Linesville. And then let's tap down here for the second question. How many fingers am I holding up? Let's just say all 10 fingers. Now that I've completed my quiz, and again, if you want to zoom out, click on the little eyeball. Double check that you've answered everything, that you filled out your name, date, etc. When you're ready to send back your quiz, homework, whatever the case might be, click on the little square with the arrow up top. Click on Send to Application. And then, depending on your teacher, I'm going to assume most of them will probably want it in PDF format, and they'll probably want all pages. But again, it's good to verify with your teacher. Just ask first. But most of the time, I'll assume PDF and all pages will be the setting. We click Send. 
And just like when we were sending the PDF to Metamoji Note Lite, now we're sending it away from, we get this same menu. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my big campus. It's probably towards the end. Now, it's good to note that you have to be logged into my big campus first for this to work. Now, it's going to say we're uploading your sample quiz.pdf. Note the name of the actual file. And it'll also say it's been added to your drive. Now, depending on the version of the My Big Campus app you have, it might actually crash there. Now, what I've noticed is most of the time when it crashes, that actually means it's uploaded successfully. If you're worried that it might not have, you can always open up the My Big Campus app, go to Drive, go to Uploads, and as you can see from my uploads, my sample quiz.pdf is already there. Now, if you've already done some work, this folder might be pretty full of random files. You can always make folders inside there and organize it how you see fit, but it's, it's up to you. So I verified that my sample quiz.pdf is actually there. Now, I'm not going to use my app to actually submit my schoolwork. I'm going to jump back over to my browser. And since this opened a new tab, I'm going to close that tab, go back to my original schoolwork assignment page where I downloaded the PDF originally. And here I'm allowed to now attach a file as well. Um, because I didn't change the name of the file, and you could if you'd like to. Uh, if you have any questions on how to do that, please feel free to see me. I'm just going to search for the original file name, which was called Sample Quiz. If you're not sure what your original file name is, ask your teacher. Or if either of you are having trouble finding it, please get a hold of me. I can help you locate it. So I'm going to search for sample quiz, and there's my sample quiz PDF. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I know it's attached because I see the gray box above it. When I click off of here, zoom out, I can see it. Now I'm going to go ahead and click submit, and my completed schoolwork is now done, ready for my teacher to grade.